cold for me, dearie? Mm, yeah. I could seriously use some help here. Ah, not like I have anything to do. Shoot. Well, we still haven't sorted out all the family paperwork. See this? Gwen tells me it's some kind of ancient script. Maybe even magical. And I thought, you know, you're ancient, right? Do you know anything about this kind of writing? Ancient? Really, my girl, you wound me. Well, at least metaphorically speaking. Ta-ta! Did I mention that I'm hurt, huh? Oh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to imply you're old, even though, um, you are. Ah, when my age you reach, you'll learn that the subtle distinction between old and really goddamn old becomes extremely important. Oh, huh? what's that? Oh, hello. How are you doing? Grandpa? Oh, <laughs> funny thing, that. It seems there's someone inside already. <laughs> what are we talking about again? What do you mean there's someone inside? A spirit, but not like me. It's cold, distant, asleep in this shell of an armor. It shouldn't be there. But there we go. Sometimes, if the will is strong enough, the dead may remain behind. There it is. It slumbers. But I can reach out and tug at its essence, stir it once more, help it awake. Please do. Here he comes. Did it work? Where am I? What is this sensation? Are these my hands? But I should be dead. I am dead. Am I? I refuse to die once. It's all so blurry. Why? Where am I? Um, are you all right? You. Who are you? Where am I? Explain this strangeness! <laughs> You're one to talk. Ghost. Yes, now it makes sense. Be gone, foul undead. You will not sway me. Oh my. He's adjusting really well, don't you think? Um... Hello? Is everything all right? Am I dead? Eh? Of course you are, just like me. The only difference being that, for some reason, you're inseparable from that golden tin can of yours. Don't know why. What manner of cruel joke is this? Is this your doing, ghost? Ah, <sighs> dead, dead. What's the difference? They have trickery as a foot. Not really. We found this armor locked in the basement of our castle. Grandpa said your spirit was bound inside. Castle? Yes, sir. Ascalia. In the Rashtil Expanse. Preposterous! That's impossible! What the what now? So you don't know why you ended up there? Come now, Mr. Knight. Please don't be like that. We're just trying to help. You seek to coddle me, insolent child. I am Lord Azalius Castellavant of Lordemar, and you will show proper respect. But... Ho <laughs> ho ho! Such a spirited ex-individual. I've had enough of your blatant mockery, Spectre. I will cleanse this place. I will... falters. What? What is this sorcery? Explain thyself! Ho oh, ho! I made you move. Now I can make you stop. Do not overstay your welcome, Sonny. Can't we all just get along? Sure. Do that in your spare time. For now, I'm going to lock this upstanding fella in the basement. Let young Kay sort it out. All right, Goldie. Right, left, right, left. Yeah, leave me be, wretched ghost! I command you to... This is the guy? Yeah, though he seems to have calmed down by now. Who dares? Well, scratch that. The insolent girl returns to torment me once more. Where's your spectral underling, child? If you think you can break my will, my flesh, you... Oh, right. 
You were right. He is crazy. Be careful, Kay. What is this? Another child? Come to mock me about my confinement, boy. I'm Kay of House Lauren. As confusing as it sounds, somehow you ended up holed in my basement. And I'd like to know why. You would presume to command me. What authority do you wield? Um, uh, well, I'm the lord of these lands. And this castle? Words. I don't want to bicker. Surely you can agree that this is totally unexpected for both parties. Can we help each other out? Hmm. You know, Kay, maybe we should... You know the ghost from before? <laughs> That's my grandfather, and I could ask him to do something to coerce you. Say, how do you feel about song and dance? Maybe a funny skit in front of a large audience? You wouldn't. Try me. <laughs> this is outrageous! Do you expect me to suffer all that belittlement without retribution? Son and dance. Uh, uh, bully, to make me choose between my principles and my dignity. I just want to know what's your deal. Tell me what I need to know, and we'll forget about the whole thing. Very well. My name is Azalius Castor Levant. Know that I am, was, a member of the Knight's Aurum of Lordemar. As you can see, I am not quite dead, stuck in a condition that I find infuriating. Beyond that, there is little I could tell you. It seems I may have been slumbering for quite a long time. Yes, about that. How did you end up here? I remember an order. An order? I was told to keep watch. Hold this spot. Do not budge until you are told otherwise. So I did. But where? Who said that? Hmm. Wait. You don't mean to tell me. That order was never revoked. I can't tell whether that's really tragic or really dumb. But what made you return? What made you clean to the world of the living? Maybe he was just too stubborn to die. What? I'm not kidding. Grandpa mentioned that spirits tend to linger if their resolve is strong enough. Or they have an unfulfilled purpose. So you think he had a very strong reason to keep going? I don't know, but it seems possible, right? Maybe a personal oath of some kind. Does any of this make sense to you, Mr. Knight? If you must know, it is not uncommon for Knights of Lordemar to swear oaths and vows. And sure enough, I had my vow, yes. Tis a poor will that never faces contest, but to think it would bar my passage. Alack the heavy day. What was it? And why would I tell a mewling scallion like you? There he goes again. All right, enough. We get it. You don't want to talk. I'm sorry about your condition, and I wish you all the best. You're free to go. Wait. One more thing. What year is it? According to the Inixonian calendar, 1107. <sighs> is he all right? I don't know. Maybe we should poke him with a stick? Four centuries. It has been four centuries. I never wish to remain in that world, nor do I wish to do so now. Yet here I am, a stranger in a strange land. Everything's changed. Everyone. Such a cursed fate to befall a man. Oh, why, why, why? Uh, dark. What? Just what am I supposed to say to that? This guy's got issues. Gee, way to be empathetic, big bro. Not, uh, um. <laughs> uh, well, y you know, uh. Times may have changed, but Lordemore has stayed untouched. You can still go home. After all, there's nothing keeping you here, right? Go and fulfill your oath, whatever it may entail. Look, I feel for you, but... Yes, I shall fulfill my oath. For that purpose, 
I now pledge myself to you, Kay of House Lauren, for the time being. Wait, what? Indeed, but make no mistake. In all things, I serve the Morning Crown first and foremost. Tis merely an alliance of convenience, nothing more. I shall burn, sear, and maim your foes. But I shall not be your underling. So state your wishes, for now. I feel like this discussion has just skipped a logical step or two. Yeah. How do we go from righteous outrage to him forcing his way into our ranks? Ask him. I bet there's a cool reason behind it all. What if he attacks me? He doesn't seem like the patient sort. Hmm. Could happen. We must rethink our strategy. I am standing right here, you know. Hey! What do you want? Esteemed customer. Distasteful. Unnecessary evil, they call it, is it? Okay.
Acceptable. Yes, sir. Are you all right? What? You speak the truth. You will show respect! Okay... Huh? 
Okay. This cannot stand. <laughs> right. Yeah. The world changes. The people do not. No rest for the wicked. Goodbye. Heresy. This cannot stand. I hold the light. No rest for the wicked. You were right. Sounds good to me. The house was the problem. Stay in the light. 